Hey there, this is Tim Sheehan at Gulf of Maine, Tide Pool Tim. Uh, I've got a pail of sea anemones that uh, I rescued yesterday. Uh, there's a bunch of docks that have been in the water for three or four years, and the owner of the dock need to haul them out and bring them onto land for repairs. Uh, my son and I were over there collecting some seaweed, and we noticed all these mussels and sea squirts hanging off the sides of these dock floats. So on closer inspection, we found these beautiful northern red anemones all sort of hanging there. They'd been out of the water almost an entire day and they were drooping down. So we carefully with our, our knives and our fingernails, we scraped the base of each anemone off and put them in this pail. Actually, we didn't have a pail. We found an old uh, Clorox bottle washed up on the beach, cut a hole in it, filled it with fresh seawater. And uh, we got about two dozen uh, northern red sea anemones. Anemones are, are kind of in the same family as jellyfish. Um, so they, they're in a, a group called the stinging cell animals, and you can see their big tentacles. Let's see if we can take one of these out of the pail. It's going to retract uh, as I do so, but you'll be able to see the the whole animal. Well, that one's stuck to the side. Let me grab this one. See the tentacles there. And this is full of water. You can see those. Like, they're kind of squirting water. There's one that's kind of a palomino. Look at this one. It's bright red. As it shrinks down, water has to come out, so that's why it's spraying. I don't know if you can see this little, that's actually his waste or his poop, which they're spitting out. But look at the different color variation. This one's like speckled red, this one's like rose, this one's peach colored. Yeah, all of these were hanging off the dock, and we're gonna die. There we go, look at that one. The base, how they attach. It's called, I think they're petal disc is what it's called. Or they suction cut to the side of a, a wharf piling. The top predators uh, in terms of uh, like wharf and dock life, these, these will eat crabs. They can, uh, they, they use their tentacles to sting little fish, shrimp. Uh, I've even seen them, uh, uh, I don't know, eaten or, or preying upon uh, jellyfish at times, which, which would be a cousin of theirs. But anyway, we're going to take these down to a tide pool down the point and release them and hopefully they'll colonize there and uh, continue their lives instead of uh, dying and drying out uh, cooking in the sun. So let's go. Here's one attached to a mussel shell. And actually it's a live mussel. It, the mussel was attached to the dock and then the anemone grew attached to that. Here's a smaller one. And we have another one here attached to Oh, yeah, that's another smaller one attached to a blue muscle. That one's <laughs> attached to the side of the pail, so you can't... Can't get it. it. It's coming off. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Little tentacles. What's that on the inside? I don't know. I think that's where he digests his food. That's amazing. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's get going. Ah! Oh geez, it's really slimy. <laughs> Typhoon Tim Adventure Series. Here at Gulf of Maine, we believe in second chances. <laughs> We're going to the beach. <laughs> 